Hello everybody, this is Radishhead, and welcome to Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. That's right, um, I'm playing a bit of Faster Than Light because uh, the Advanced Edition update came out quite recently, and uh, well I was just going to give it a shot, and uh, then I thought, hey I feel like recording something, so here you go, this isn't what I normally do, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Let's go into the new game here. So for those of you who don't know, Faster Than Light is a uh, sort of spaceship... I don't want to really... I just want to say simulator. It's sort of more of a uh, real-time strategy with sp in space. And you are part of the Federation, and you've got to get to the end uh, where you battle the boss and inevitably die because the boss is incredibly difficult. Um, and you have like a variety of ships that you can choose. I haven't really unlocked many because I'm not that good. But uh, we've got the Kestrel here, um, we've got the Taurus, that's like full of engineers, that's pretty cool. And that's like all I've got. But you can get like different layouts as well. So for the Taurus I've got like... This one's really weird, the Vortex. Like you've only got one crew member and you don't have any cameras, so you can't see what on earth is going on in your ship. But um, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to use the Kestrel today. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to rename it to, um, uh, you know what, I'm gonna actually name my ship after the channel, the Radish Bros, and I have in front of me a list of my top fans as sorted by YouTube itself. There's like a new part of the analytics where uh, YouTube basically tells you who's been commenting the most, who's been liking the most videos. So I'm gonna name my crew after the top fans on this list. So we've got Matt, he is now going to be the currently the number one fan is Infinity Cats Cats Rule. So I'm going to call you Infinity Cats. There we go. Next, Brecken is no longer Nick Brecken. He is instead going to be called uh, Glaceon Time Evolution. I'm gonna call you Glaceon. And finally, Tai Yi, which is a very cool name. But my third most, uh, my third biggest fan currently is Red Flygon. So here we go. And um, you can get more crew members uh, along the periods that you play. Hopefully, I will get to show off a few more people. So thanks a lot for supporting. Here you go. You get to die in space now. Thanks. <laughs> right. Um, hard mode is a new thing for the advanced edition, but I've never even beaten it on normal. So there's no way I'm clicking hard. Um, those of you who have played this game before know just how incredibly difficult it gets. Uh, we start off with a burst laser, which is very useful. I'm not a big fan of the missile weapons, but they are quite useful because they go through shields, but they cost missiles, which is quite a tough resource to get sometimes. Anyway, let me read the story to you all. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You will need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip beams. Beam weapons do damage based on... Yes, I know all this. Anyway, so this is our ship. Uh, we're just chilling in space right now. We've got... Uh, who's the captain? Infinity Cats is the captain. We have got uh, Red Flygon. He's on weapons. And of course, Glaceon is in the engine room. So... Um, let's power up the uh, engines a little bit more. As you know, because if I want to use all of these... Ah, let's do the engines, okay. Basically this is sort of my um, console commands down here. I basically got to say how much power I want to go into each thing. So I've got some spare power up here, I've got two bars, but I need three bars for I want to power up both of my weapons. But then you can like upgrade, it's, just, it's a great game, you'll see. Anyway, uh, so this is me, I can choose where to jump to next. I'm trying to get over here to the exit. And I'm going to head down here first. Maybe there'll be a spaceship battle to encounter. Your ship leads you to nothing but empty space. Okie dokie. Let's go here then. Scans reveal a large asteroid field. Do we want to explore it? Let's explore it. Oh, nice! We got a, a drone part and a bit of scrap. So that's not too bad. I am going to buy 
Um, do you know, I'm going to save my money. Yeah, you want to try and save your scrap as much as you can. That's, that is for sure. Now you can see the rebel fleet is coming up from the left hand side here now. So I don't want to spend too much time dilly dallying. But I do want to explore as much of the, sec of the sector as possible. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily contacts you. Stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Attack the pirates. You asked for it. They pull away from the plan to move in to engage. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here. You can sort of just control your guys while you're paused. So, um, how many bursts do we get? Shots free. Okay, right. I'm only going to use the uh, burst laser. I don't want to waste my missiles. I'm going to attack the shields first. And uh, hopefully that should be okay. So we're just waiting for the burst of laser to charge up here. So I'm going to swap these around. Pew pew! There we go. So we've broken through into their shields now. Um, they they have a an ion weapon, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, they don't want to fight. They want to escape. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Alright, we give up, we're terrible at pirating anyway. So do we want to let them go for four fuel, nine scrap and two missiles? Normally I would say no, but that's actually quite a lot of fuel for this early in the game. So I'm going to say yes, okay, you can go. And Glaceon's been stunned. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we're doing okay, because one thing I've noticed since the update, I have played this once, um, is that I run out of fuel quite a lot, and here we are, we're at a fuel station right now. Do I want to pay... I'm going to buy free fuel for six scrap, because I don't need it desperately. That's quite a good price, so I don't, I don't want to just pass it up. Right, um... I'm going to jump to the store. Let's see what we've got. We probably can't buy much for 29 scrap metal, but it's nice just to have a look. See, look, you can actually buy, like, crew members here. We've got Logan Johnson. All of these different people have different abilities. It's quite cool. Uh, we can sort of sell our stuff if we really want. But uh, right now we're pretty good. So let's continue on our journey. There's a distress call up here. Let's go. <laughs> Flying through space on the Radish Bros ship. Um, apparently there is a research station that is out of control. I don't want to send in my crew because you just know they're going to die. Let's try and rescue them by docking. We've got eight scrap and a man called Jones. What is this, Jones? How do I change your name? Okay, you are no longer Dr. Jones. Your name is my fourth biggest fan currently, which is Adam7777. Adam7777. Okay, there we go. You are now part of the team, and you are the first member of our crew who is not a human. You are Zoltan. Uh, they provide power to occupied systems. They explode on death. So basically, if I put you in shields, for example, look, now I actually have a spare power point because he's, just by being in the room, he powers the uh, the room, which is really cool. So that's nice. Um, let's continue then. To the, s not the store, to the next sector. Which we're not even in the next, we're just in the next, just ignore me. Apparently there's a rebel ship trying to annoy this outpost, so let's intervene. That's what we do the best. Um, burst of laser, go on. Let's shoot down this. Oh, they've got all sorts of drones. I'm not too happy about that. I'm going to launch a missile at their uh, drone depot. I love the music in this game. That is really good. Pew pew pew. Okay, we got through the shields. And drones. Oh, we missed with the missiles. That's a pain. Also, they've damaged our um, CCTV, so we can't actually see what's going on anymore. Uh, let's just launch this missile. And direct hit. Okay, so that drone is out. Good. I'm going to decommission this weapon, because we don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to shoot their weapons. Because their shield is going to be down for a while. There we go. Their weapons are down now. And just in case they try to escape, let's shoot their uh, pilot seat. There we go. They're down. 
we get 18 scrap for fuel and a drone part. And also the outpost gives us some scrap too, so that's really good. Let's quickly repair some stuff while we're here. Um, you can see down here the progress on the repairing. So once this is repaired, we'll actually be able to see inside our ship again. Oh, there's a fire! Wow! Good thing we checked that out, right? <laughs> see, that's the thing, you can't see what's going on. And, yeah, basically I've just opened the doors into space to let all the oxygen out. And that will, um... Because the fires can't survive without oxygen, that's science. <laughs> I think I'm going to improve my cameras because um, it doesn't require any more energy, it's because it's only a subsystem. But when it's level 2, it means you can see inside the enemy ship, which is really nice. One of my favourite things to do. Because you can sort of see them running about trying to repair all the stuff you're blowing up. What good fortune we have to run into each other. Nothing personal, we have information we need. Ooh, okay, right. Let's take them down, team. <laughs> Come on, crew, the Radish Bros. We've got this. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, so basically, these guys have got a, um, a sort of a double shield, almost. Which I don't think missiles can go through. Also, they're disabling our shields, which is a real pain. Oh, man, they are... They've got some nasty weapons. That beam is not nice. Okay, so basically we've got to get rid of this green shield first. Okay, so they, yeah, they are trying to... Yeah, work on that. Adam's got to repair our shields pretty quick. Okay, their shields are down. Um, next, let's get these weapons out of here. Okay, at least the shields are... Oh, our weapons are breaking, our shields are getting disabled. At least we can still fire at them, which they won't be able to do to us much longer. I cannot believe how well equipped your ship is. Take this and let us live. No way, you almost killed us. I'm sorry, but um, this is going to be your last time in space. <laughs> well, actually, no, you're going to be spending eternity in space. Your body and ship is just going to be floating through forever. Goodbye. And we get a little bit more than they were offering us, which is good. So, it's really awkward. Sometimes they say, please take this as everything we've got. You say, no way, they've probably got more than that. They blow up and it turns out that was everything they had. <laughs> so, yeah. Moments like that. Just getting Adam to repair the security. There we go. Okay, let's jump on to uh, this sector. The rebels are catching up, so I want to try and get out of here as soon as I can now. Somebody has fallen into our trap. Hmm, okay. Well, let's uh, blow up their shields with the missile and take out their weapons. Uh, we, need, we need another level of shields, I think. This is a bit of a pain. Okay, shields are in trouble on the enemy side, thank god. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain. I need to get to a store to repair myself, I think. You're considerably more well-armed than I would have thought. I'm not accepting that surrender. Give us double that. <laughs> Do you not consider your lives to be worth a thing? Also, their weapons are down, which is really nice. Yes, there we go. They are out of here. And they basically give us what they were offering us, so <laughs> maybe that was all they had. Okay, I'm going to jump to the store, repair my ship, and then fly to the exit. Let's do it. Repair all for 20? Um, yeah. Automated reloader. Cooldown between weapon shots is improved by 10%. Yes, I will buy that. Nice. Okay, so we've got 10% faster reloads. So that's always useful. And I think we're getting to the exit just in time, actually. Oh, hang on. Uh, the aftermath of what seems to be brutal exchange between several ships is hard to determine who the combats were. Do we investigate, ignore the wreckage, or, special option, use your sensors to scan? Let's scan it. We get some missiles and some scrap. That's good. 
Okay, right, I'm going to jump to the next sector. Got a choice, Zoltan Controlled, which is the civilian sector, or Pirates Controlled, which is the hostile. I'm going to go for the Pirates, because I feel like a bit of danger. But uh, you know what? I appreciate you guys watching, but um, we are going to explore this Pirates Controlled sector in the next episode of Faster Than Light. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you again next time.